The price of Tesla has been declining for a while. Investors, however, believe that Elon Musk, the company's CEO, is the problem rather than Tesla's earnings or its general fundamentals. Tesla investors are beginning to question whether Elon Musk is still the best person to head the company given that he spends a lot of time on Twitter. Investors are growing increasingly concerned about his capacity to successfully lead the manufacturer of electric vehicles as the questions about him grow. What are the opinions of these investors? We will discuss that shortly. Since Musk's closest bid to buy Twitter in late October, Tesla shares have lost roughly $225 billion in market value, falling almost 55% year-to-date. Wedbush analyst Dan Ives claims that the loss occurred as the S&P 500 was up more than 3%. Investors' worries are therefore likely to be valid. Musk's massive sales of his own Tesla stock this year, when the company's stock has fallen by around 61% from its late last year peak, haven't helped. This covers the current disclosure of the sale of $3.6 billion in stock, as well as the earlier selling of 4.4 million shares. Even after Musk declared he was stopping the sale of Tesla stock. Is Elon Musk still the best person to manage Tesla? Let's investigate. But first, please click the like button if you enjoy this kind of stuff. To be informed about everything Tesla related, turn on notifications and subscribe to our channel. One of Tesla's biggest individual shareholders, Leo Kagan publicly criticized Elon Musk for leaving the company and demanded a leadership change. Elon abandoned Tesla, he claimed in a tweet, and the company currently lacks a CEO. A full-time CEO for Tesla is what the company deserves and needs. Leo claims to desire the best for the automaker and has always been a staunch supporter of Tesla. The stock expert started trading stocks in 2019 and has roughly 2.3 million shares of Tesla as of 2020. Leo suggested that someone more operationally oriented, such to Tim Cook at Apple, should lead the firm when discussing the new management for Tesla. Elon Musk, in his view, works for Tesla as a mere hired hand. He added that Tim Cook, and not Elon Musk, is required to take Tesla to the next level, comparing the CEO of Tesla to a proud parent who is raising a grown-up Tesla. Leo is not, however, dumping his Tesla stock despite his annoyance. Instead, he intends to purchase more because he thinks the stock is inexpensive and that the business can still expand with a more focused CEO. Elon staying or leaving Tesla is irrelevant to him, he said, because the business is a terrific one. Its current share price of $160 is comparatively low. Leo Kogan also mentioned that he intends to increase his Tesla investments since he thinks the automaker will continue to grow regardless of whether Elon Musk is involved. Also recently, Tesla shareholder and managing partner of the Future Fund Gary Black tweeted that Musk would soon realize that his divisive political views were harming how customers perceive Tesla's EVs. He asserts that consumers want their vehicles to make them proud to drive rather than make others uncomfortable. Again, Andy Ferguson referred to Tesla as a brilliant business that its founder had abandoned. Investors and stockholders, in his opinion, want unwavering, apolitical leadership. Elon Musk either devote himself to Tesla, he continued, or relinquish his position as the company's CEO. The findings, whatever much these stockholders clamor for a change in Tesla's management, may not be favorable due to a number of issues. After co-founder Steve Jobs passed away, Tim Cook took over as CEO of Apple. Like Musk, Cook had a strong visionary streak. But in 2011, when Steve Jobs resigned as Apple's CEO, the company's stock market worth was wiped out by billions of dollars as investors worried about the company's long-term prospects without its inspirational leader. The news of jobs leaving caused Apple shares to drop by around 3% at the opening of Wall Street trade, devaluing the business by about $10 billion. The drop was marginally less severe than the 5% decline anticipated before trading started, and Apple shares were now trading for $365 each. Although the shift in Apple's leadership was beneficial in the short term, it put the business on the verge of bankruptcy in the long run. Similar incidents occurred with Amazon, where Andy Jassy, the company's new CEO, has been cited as having several problems. Since, assuming control of the business from founder Jeff Bezos, the price of an Amazon share has dropped by 51%, and its most recent earnings report, which was released in November, showed weak fourth quarter growth of 5%. Additionally, a number of its customer satisfaction indexes have decreased, 
including the proportion of highly satisfied consumers. Consumer approval is ebbing downward. Rivals boost customer complaints about delayed shipments, poor product quality, tardy delivery, and subpar service. In addition, it's critical to think about Tesla's long-term objectives and the possibility that Elon Musk will be the best leader for the company in achieving these objectives. Can anyone actually operate a Tesla to fully autonomous driving more effectively than Elon Musk? Essentially none. Elon Musk has made multiple efforts to have this technology ready and accessible for other electric OEM makers to acquire as soon as possible. Tesla is now researching completely autonomous driving technology at full speed. Despite the fact that in recent years Musk has made announcements that took far longer than anticipated to materialize, such the Cybertruck Roadster Semi, many people have been forced to view his projections about the future with some skepticism. It is still reasonable to assume that the Tesla CEO will follow through on his ambitions to enable autonomous driving for Tesla. One feature that Tesla aims to include as soon as it can in its vehicles is complete self-driving. Elon Musk is the person best equipped for the position. In actuality, undertakings that have never been attempted before are best suited for Musk. According to a prior statement made by the Tesla CEO, the ability to solve the self-driving problem will determine if Tesla is worth a lot of money or not at all. Musk claims that Tesla will be worth practically nothing if it can't figure out self-driving, a problem that the CEO has been sure the business can overcome despite numerous missed deadlines. No one can deny that Tesla would be very valuable if it were to overcome the FSD problem. If Tesla is able to implement a self-driving technology in every vehicle it has built since 2016, as it promised, it will unlock hundreds of billions of dollars worth of value in its client fleet and greatly increase the value of every vehicle it has built up to this point. The automaker not only has the best engineers to complete the task, but also the ideal executive to oversee it. A recent list of the most alluring firms, as determined by U.S. students, was released by employer branding expert Universum. The poll data was gathered between October 2021 and April 2022. In total, 49,197 students were questioned about their top five dream employers as well as other aspects of the workplace, including potential career paths. A significant portion of engineering students aspire to work for Tesla and SpaceX. In addition to remaining the top two this year, SpaceX and Tesla also topped the student rankings. Likewise, in 2019, 20.93% of Gen Z respondents and 17.98% of millennial respondents indicated that SpaceX was their top option for an employer, making it the most alluring to engineering students. So, what do these two businesses have in common, one could ask? I guess you were correct. The CEO, the person in charge who decides how and when things should be done, is the same for both companies. Musk previously co-managed two businesses and may have acquired the knowledge and abilities necessary to manage a third with this experience. Musk contributed an initial $6.3 million to the founding of Tesla in 2004 after earning almost $180 million as a co-founder of PayPal. The startup's bold business model was broken down into three steps. First, to create a high-end, high-performance sports car to demonstrate the viability and coolness of electric automobiles. Second, to introduce a high-end car to compete with premium manufacturers like BMW and Mercedes. And finally, to manufacture tens of thousands of inexpensive electric cars for the general public. And Tesla has confidently accomplished the majority of these. Under the direction of Elon Musk, Elon Musk holds the most Tesla shares of anyone to top it all off. While Musk recently sold over 22 million shares in 29 different transactions for about $3.6 billion, the entire value of Tesla stock sales in 2022 is expected to be around $23 billion. Including his management stock options, the Tesla CEO still holds around 424 million shares of the company. So, if not Elon Musk, who would be the greatest to continue driving the auto industry? What do you think about Leo Kogan's statement? Do you believe Elon Musk ought to retire as CEO of Tesla? Don't forget to let us know how much you value Tesla in the comments area. Click the next video that appears on your screen to learn more about what Tesla has been up to recently. Hello, T here.